This is a story about me being given a buttload of awesome fruit to distill, being irresponsible, almost screwing it up, and then uh, trying to save it. <laughs> How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse, this is Still It. And some time ago, my dear, sweet, wonderful mother gave me a bunch of fruit to play with. So we got uh, a whole lot of Fijoas, which I've used in a past episode, but I still had about 12, maybe 15 kilos of that left over. About eight to 10 kilos of blackberries that she lovingly picked herself and put away into the freezer for me. And about four kilos of what I thought was uh, guava, and then I googled it and realized that that's not what I had at all. Turns out it's strawberry guava. There you go, totally different looking fruit, still apparently a guava. They taste pretty crazy. Anyway, all of this fruit I put into the freezer because I, I felt like I had something special here, I didn't know what to make with it, and I was kind of just stalling. Then we got half a cow that needed to go into said freezer. So I pulled all the fruit out, looked at it, and thought that is a giant mass of frozen fruit wrapped in multiple layers of bags. I'm sure that will be fine in the morning. I'll come and deal with that in the morning and we'll start the mash. Then I got distracted. <laughs> and the next morning, uh, I walked out into the shed to see berry juice running all over the place. Freaking Muppet. So, instead of coming up with a really cool plan on what to do with this fruit, I went into crazy mode, trying to save it, uh, because there was liquid pissing out all over the place, uh, and I just needed to get this into the fermenter ASAP. So apologies, I don't have a whole lot of footage of this, because I was kind of working in overdrive to, to um, the fruit wasn't going to go bad, uh, but I was losing a lot of liquid, it was just spilling out all over the place. So I took all of the fruit, and if I had to guess the weights, it would have been 13-ish kilos of Fijoas, probably nine kilos of blackberries, and I'm pretty sure about four kilos of guava. Put it all through the uh, the fruit shredder, the mangulator, straight into the fermenter. I added enough water to bring the total volume up to around about 60 liters. The gravity was pathetic at this point in time. I think it was 1018, uh, so I added in enough sugar to bring that up to 1065, which should give us around about a nine, 10% uh, ABV at the end of fermentation. EC triple one eight was the only yeast I had on hand that was even close to being suitable, so that's what I used. Uh, and I fermented this at 20 degrees Celsius, which is that in Fahrenheit. Primary fermentation took about seven days. I let it sit for another three days to sour up slightly and uh, started performing the stripping runs. Being 60 liters, it was a slightly awkward volume. Uh, so what I ended up doing is putting around about 45 liters into the still, performing a full stripping run on the uh, the full still with 45 liters, collecting all of those low wines, putting it back into the still, along with about 22, 23 extra liters of the straight wash. Uh, my still has a false bottom on the bottom, so I was happy to kind of push things a little bit and just put all of the chunky berries, uh, guava and fijoas into the mix as well in an attempt to get a little bit more flavor. Because I hadn't done a full stripping run on all of it, it was kind of going to be a one and a half run at this point in time, I opted to use one plate on top of the pot just to help clean things up a little bit more. Cuts on this thing were tricky. We had the awkward fruit situation where a lot of the more tropical flavors from the Fijoa and the uh, real berry, intense berry flavor came over very, very, very close to the heads. And it was a real toss up between kind of alcohol presence and how jaggy I was happy for this to be versus how much fruit flavor I wanted to try and retain. But it was also tricky down at the tails because the guava flavor was super intense, like the most intense flavor through the whole freaking run, which is crazy. There was only four kilos of the damn things. Um, and uh, guava is a flavor that I've got no idea how to describe. If you haven't tried strawberry guavas, it's dense, it's intense, it's somehow light and tropical fruity, but it's also kind of grungy. It's a crazy flavor and it's very close to what Tails present as, almost more like Tails from a whiskey. So I was cautious of Tails on this run. I didn't really know when I was gonna hit it uh, and I ended up, calling the line at right around 60% ABV, which is a little bit higher than 
perhaps sometimes I would go. I've actually ended up with two products from this. The first, I just took the distillate and proofed it down to, uh, I played between 40 and 50% ABV with flavor a little bit, uh, and I decided on, uh, what was it? 42% ABV seemed quite good. The second product is, I guess it's a fortified wine. Uh, what I didn't tell you early on is I reserved about two liters of the wine itself. Uh, <laughs> sieved it out and then used some fittings to drop it out even more. I probably should have let this sit for another day or two to really clear up. I was lazy, I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, and then I used the distillate to fortify that wine to 35% ABV. If you'll remember though, we kind of soured things in the fermenter. So this tasted much more like a dirty great big reinforced sour beer with fruit in it than it did like a fortified wine. Uh, and for that reason, I offset it a little bit uh, using a sugar syrup. Should we taste both of these? Because uh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, team. I haven't actually tasted this yet. I've tasted it enough to kind of like proof it down and get it sorted. But I haven't sat down there and pulled it apart. What I do know is this tastes like nothing I've ever tasted before. I need a second opinion. <laughs> Wifey, thank you for being guinea pig. Uh, do you want the fortified wine version or the, the brandy slash aqua, um, rakia version mm, first? This one. <laughs> okay, go for it. <clears throat> I think of it as fizzy. Not like actually fizzy, fizzy because the fruit flavor is fizzy. Mm. Like fizzy fruit flavors. Yeah, like Fijo is taste effervescent. Yeah. Even when they're not. I know what you mean, 100%. Passion um, fruit sometimes. What do you think about the weird, like, sourness and fermentation flavors in it? And she's just polished it off. <laughs> I was thinking. I'll let you I think and I'll pour some more. fermentation flavors. You don't think so? The fizzy, I, mean, I guess it's the fizzy, the fermentation flavors. Maybe. No, the like, the, the, the like slightly funky sourness. Kind of funky. It's no like funkier than. No, funky like sauerkraut. Not funky like Brett. Not Brettanomyces. That Brett. guy, Brett. <laughs> he's like, a horrible person, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's also interesting to me because on the nose, I get berry and fijoa. Smells like berries and fijoa. Hmm. But it tastes almost exclusively of guava. No, I think it tastes like fijoa too. With fijoa skin. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely like the scraping of the inside of the fijoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you've eaten too far down. Yeah. Which, but it actually really works in this. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. And it has like a um, the 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 guava and the fijoa skin add up to being not bitter, not astringent, but somewhere kind of in between. But then that balances. Not bitter or astringent. It's really. No, but it has a, there's like a very um, aggressive mouthfeel to it that isn't mm. bitter or astringent. It's kind of like in between. But that balances against the sourness. And then before it gets too sour, the, the, the sugar comes in and cleans it off. Yeah. Yeah, it is very well balanced. You added sugar to it. Mm. Mm. It's not too sugary, though. I guess it's Fermentation a sour flavor. beer, and it's not as sour as sour beer that I've had. Um, no, because I added a bunch of sugar into it. True. Yeah, true. All right, let's uh, give the... So what's that? This is just the spirit. So that's oh, yeah. the wine plus the spirit. Mm -hmm. This is just the spirit. I feel like I should have drank the sugar one last. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to have another sip of that to adjust back. It just tastes like nothing. <laughs> After that. It tastes like, it tastes like Fijoa skins and guava. Yeah, it's definitely more bitter. Like the aftertaste is a bit like. Skin. It's not quite bitter though, no. is it? It's like a weird. Musky or something. It's like. Yeah. Is musk a flavor? <laughs> no, that's a really good descriptor. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Is musk a flavor? I didn't even know what musk is. That's pretty damn close to what <laughs> so I would like call a, musk. <laughs> yeah. Just, it's like a room spray or something. Oh, have another go. Now I'm getting like. A lot more fruity characteristics up front. And then after you swallow that musky, like heavy musky guava flavors coming through. 
like apples and pears and berries up front, and then yeah. as soon as you swallow that it, all say gets... apple-y, like green apple or something. It's not that mm. strong though, but it's comparing it to that too. This is intriguing. I don't dislike it. That, on the other hand, to me, is like, what's the name for a sour beer with fruit in it? Is there sour wine? I don't no, know. No, 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 a sour beer with fruit. I don't know. I'm going to look it up so I can <laughs> act like I know what I'm talking about. I guess I was thinking of a lambic. It's very similar to a lambic. It drinks like a lambic, but it has... It's way sweeter because the sugar. Yeah, it drinks like a lambic, uh, but it is way boozier. And you're right, it's got the back, mm. sweet backbone to it. So this, to me, is... Um, I wish I had another six litres of that. Mm. <laughs> like bougie wine people would buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, so. I think oh, it was pretty good. This is fortified, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a pretty elegant, well-rounded yeah, product really in my mind. That's a bit unbalanced. And then I go and smell it again, <laughs> and now it smells like... It smells like... Um, like apple juice, well, this like one, syrupy, like apple juice. <laughs> and now it's fed, it, every time I smell it, it smells different. All right, so there you have it team, this almost turned out horribly, I almost lost all of the fruit. What? We saved it, oh. uh, the garage floor is still stained, I'm assuming you knew that already. Yeah, the not... house garage, not your one, yeah. the house yeah. one. I'm in the a little bit of trouble about stay. it. <laughs> Looks kind of like a blood stain, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I only killed That's berries. Literally the pathway <laughs> to the extra room. Uh, yeah. But in the end, it turned out really well, and this probably isn't what I would have made if I had uh, all the time in the world to think about it. So I'm, I'm kind of really glad it worked out this way. Was are we I done? supposed to say something? No, are we, is yeah. It, yeah, you're done? All right. Yes, I'm done. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time. See ya. <laughs> all right. Nice, baby. It's yummy.